Welcome back to Caseta, our little Italian house. This week we're traveling back in time to try to tell the story of paint stripping the door frame. There are highs, mostly from the chemical fumes, and lows. When we took them all down, put them in the living room, and we thought the door frame was just going to be like a quick scream. And that's been a saga. If you've been keeping up with our other videos, you may have noticed that this doorway went from bright, in-your-face yellow, to completely missing, to back again in various states of being sanded. As James so eloquently put it, When we thought the door frame was just going to be like a quick scream, we thought this would just be a fun side job full of satisfying clips of scraping off the paint in one quick go. As you can probably tell by how dramatic I'm being, this was not the case and we found ourselves battling with this door frame for the greater part of two months. At some point, we realized that gravity was not on our side, and in order to get the recommended five millimeters of paint stripper to sit on the surface, we'd have to completely remove the door frame. Since we don't have much of a yard, our living room was transformed into a paint stripping factory. Looking back on this footage shows the time scale of this dysfunctional door frame. We are wearing jackets and heavy pants, which means this was probably about the time we were scrubbing the kitchen ceiling. By the time the door frame is actually installed, we are wearing shorts and t-shirts complaining about the Italian summer heat. We had the idea of creating a chamber of fumes in the living room to try to maximize the effect of the expensive paint stripper. Once again, utilizing our respirators that my parents had given us last Christmas. And in the meantime, I strongly recommend caution to all. Although, all it did was make our house infinitely less inhabitable for evening wine parties. And in the end, it basically had no effect and was a huge waste of time. We initially thought it'd be a good idea to throw the shutters into the mix as well, but seeing how many cans of stripper just the doorframe took up, the shutters became the least of our worries. Other than the fact that they created a chemical ridden obstacle course. It also didn't help that the doorway had many different layers of potentially dangerous industrial grade paint. Even though the hardware employees said it was absolutely impossible that we'd need more than a teaspoon's worth of paint stripper, we ended up going back to the store for more over and over.
Getting into the trim was one of the more tricky parts. The flatter surfaces weren't nearly as bad, but the trim had rounded corners and fillets and it just caused havoc for us trying to scrape it directly off with flat blades. We finally got the Arostachini. <laughs> <laughs> Just when we thought we were in the home stretch and had all the paint removed, we started noticing this sticky residue all over the original wood. This material that's basically watered down wood glue is something that we've become very familiar with since starting this renovation process. Apparently in Italy, it is used as a primer for basically everything, and our door frame was definitely no exception. So we had to scrape off just one more layer and the only thing that seemed to cut through it was more paint stripper. After removing as much of the glue as possible from the door frame, we reinstalled it to create the illusion of progress. But my dad spent hours sanding the ornate trim on the door frame by hand before basically bullying me into buying an orbital sander and a connected shop vac. Staining this absolutely flawless, perfect, blemish-free antique wooden door frame was the most satisfying single hour of our entire project. It escaped being discussed all through our previous videos, but trust us, it was always present in our weekly to-do lists. And speaking of to-do lists, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon, commenting, liking, and then liking the comment that you just commented about liking on. Thanks.